to lift up yourself, you have to lift up someone else. Our next speaker believes that is the key to our well-being. Please welcome Talon Amari. wants to be on it? Is that volunteering? <laughs> I remember when I was in kindergarten, I was asked to volunteer to change my seat for the class picture because I was rather tall and couldn't sit in front. But the boy I exchanged my seat with he had slobbered over the cookie. <laughs> oh, no. And that was to be our treat for the day. <laughs> Not really volunteering. <laughs> and to a kindergartner, a cookie? <laughs> wow, that is a huge sacrifice. <laughs> so now that we've debunked some of those myths that really aren't volunteering, let's talk about what volunteering really is. Toastmasters is a great example of volunteering. I came to Toastmasters, probably just like the rest of you, to improve myself. But what I found is the process here is really not just about improving myself. It's really about us helping each other. So even though I came here, to improve myself when I'm evaluating a speech, greeting somebody at the door. I, I can't video, but if I could, I'd help you out there. As we're doing all those things, like mentoring, we're helping one another. But I'm the one that's improving. So you have those three things. You have improvement for yourself, you have helping others, and you have a fabulous impact on our community. As we go out and be ambassadors for one another in our clubs, as we go out and be leaders and communicators in our community, that is real volunteer. Now, in the well, when I was in my 20s, I won't tell you how long ago that was, <laughs> I joined an organization called the Junior League. It is an organization of women, and it is for promoting volunteerism. <coughs> it's also for developing the potential of women, and also for improving the community. Well, I joined that organization because I wanted to help others. But guess what happened? I found out when you wanted to help others, you just can't be nice. You have to be effective. So guess who I improved by helping others? Me. 
I gained self-confidence. I learned how to partner with my community. I learned how to make a budget, read a budget, strategic plan, anything that I needed to do to help others. So again, it's a little bit in reverse because I went to help others, but I'm the one that was improved. And when I look at all the things that the Junior League has done, and all of those women that have gone out into the community, I see the impact again of what it does for our community and for the world. Now, it's been said by an unknown author that volunteerism is actually the ultimate exercise in democracy. Every year you get to vote in an election. But when you volunteer, every day you vote for the kind of community that you want to be a part of. So remember that when you're volunteering. And my hope is that you'll think about all the things that you're interested in. I don't know, Thomas, you may be interested in the airplanes. Where Gary may be interested in education. Somebody else, maybe Rich, is interested in orthopedics. <laughs> Whatever you're interested in, be a part of your community and realize that when you're volunteering, you're not only helping others, but you're improving yourself. And think of the incredible impact you will have on your community and possibly the world.